This is not a story about the disease that grips Brian Bauman. Ah. All right, I got you. Are yeah. oh, you ready? We're going to turn. Oh. Oh. We got you. There you go. Sorry. That's right. Instead, it is about a dying man, yeah. uplifted by an undying friendship. Don't call me a movie star. <laughs> In fact, Brian like is not the star of this show. It is his friend, Wayman Bell, described by Brian's wife, Teresa. He's been his arms and his legs. And by Brian's two daughters. Kind of like a miracle. He's like an angel. A guardian angel who first noticed Brian's health declining at work late last year and who recently helped Teresa break the news to Angela and Alicia. Their daddy's disease was progressing, <laughs> leaving him with just three to six months to live. He broke us news and he cried with us, so it was really tough for him to see us cry about it because he loves my dad so much. And Wayman has done so much for the family and has done so unconditionally. They claim that they're taking me from, a, you know, away from things in my life and there's been plenty of times when I've told them they don't know how much they're really adding to it. He's a trooper. Uh, and I appreciate it. Wayman's unwavering commitment to the Bowmans also caught the attention of Charleston Mayor Joe Riley. Now, therefore, I, Joseph P. Riley, Jr., Mayor of the City of Charleston, to proclaim April 12, 2005, as Wayman Bell Day in the City of Charleston and recognize and commend his leadership, selfless service, and outstanding example of friendship and urge all citizens to remember the value of friendship with the extraordinary model set by Wayman Bell. You know, my hopes are is that, you know, if people, you know, that know Brian and know Brian's story, you know, if it touches their heart in a way that there's other people out there that will in turn provide care for people in need, that's what it's all about. Raising awareness of ALD is also important to the Bowmans. It is a genetic disease. It claimed the life of Brian's older brother, and now impacts his younger awesome. brother, Blaine. Have you been tested? Yes. And I have it. Blaine refuses to get caught up with his own fate, focusing instead on his brother's final few months. A life of gratitude, proving a friend in need is truly a friend indeed. Thanks, Brian. Thanks, Wayne. You're welcome. survival at its best. We knew it was something that had to do with a jellyfish or whatever. And I said, well...